And here we are. We have made it through 16 weeks of Droughtlander. And I want to thank each and every one of you for helping me get through this. Y'all thank me for helping you. But if I didn't have a week to week count up and some fun things to look for, I probably would go a little out of my mind waiting to find out what happens next to Janie and Claire. But you folks, you give me something fun to think about and some things to look for. So this episode, kind of about Outlander fans. And to get things rolling, we are going to start with, well, one of my favorite things to talk about, a convention. I know. This one, though, is The Gathering. Right here, we have pretty much all the information that there is so far, and that is the date. And we've got November 14th of next year through the 17th. We don't have any prices, but from what I've seen before, if you don't have a couple thousand dollars to spend, you're going to have trouble finding a ticket. Now, tickets are not available yet. Now, this one is a Sasnak City event. And as you can see from here, tickets will be on sale starting December 1st, but generally they don't sell out right away. So yeah, again, if you need a little time to save up, you probably will have a few months at least before tickets are sold out. As you can see, the convention goers do have a pretty good time. And Sasnak City uh, is held in Kansas City and generally has a pretty good list of celebrities joining them. However, there are no names on that list as of yet. Now we're going to switch to a little recommendation due to a conversation I had with a commenter. As you can see here, I was having a little chat with a commenter, Adriana one eh. <laughs> After we got over the cuteness of John Bell as a small, small child on Doctor Who, we went over some of the different shows that Sam has been in. And of course, there are the SAS adventure movies. And uh, last year, he appeared with Celine Dion. We were talking about those movies that we really enjoy Sam's performance and, and kind of shows the versatility of them. She mentioned The Spy Who Dumped Me, which has kind of become my sick day movie. It's it's an easy watch. It's entertaining. It's fun. Not too serious. And you don't have to pay attention to every moment to understand the storyline. Outlander kind of does that to you. But another real fun movie, especially for this time of year, is A Princess for Christmas. This one is a few years older than some of the other shows uh, that I mentioned, but it is a really enjoyable Christmas film. And we see Sam, a bit younger, different hair color, playing a prince of a guy. So if you get the chance this season, I do recommend it. It is just a really enjoyable film. And Adrienne, she, she recommends it too. <laughs> the couple next door apparently it is really good and according to every review i have seen they agree yeah apparently every single review has been pretty much astounding people really enjoy this show addictive thriller by the sunday times uh star studded cast deliciously addictive according to the sun the telegram says extremely enjoyable as you can see many many stars many many recommendations for the couple next door. So big congrats to Sam. Again, continued success is something that was expected, but so nice to see. Now I am keeping this video a little bit short because I've got a busy day to plan for packing, laundry, preparing my family to be without me for a couple of days. It's a whole thing. So do want to finish this up, but again, this is for you fans and I've got a little something that was inspired completely by one of you viewers pointing out something a little interesting about our girl Fiona. Once again, I do encourage anybody who has a little something they want to share to uh, go ahead and message me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. This time, Sharon Wintercook, she decided to use Facebook and she has this really great question that I wasn't avoiding. I just hadn't had time or the health to actually go look into it. This week, however, I decided to have a little research and um, wow, something really fun has been pointed out and that is that the actress that plays Fiona didn't just play Fiona. Now, there were some questions as to whether or not Fiona is a time traveler because as you can see from these images, she did show up earlier. These are season one images taken throughout um, uh, a couple of different moments, as you can see, there's the uh, a gathering there and an outward uh, outside gathering going on. I believe we discussed that uh, the one was the actual gathering and the one above that 
maybe when um, uh, a young man is getting his ear nailed to a pole. Just a quick correction there. This is after the mauling of Jordy during the boar hunt, actually. And um, yeah, back to the video. Not a good time for anybody. However, this familiar face is right there. And again, so the question was, is Fiona a time traveler? Well, the question has a very simple answer. No, she's not. However, the actress was an extra. Remember, Fiona doesn't show up until season two. And so by all reasonable, logical conclusions, uh, the actress had been cast as an extra. And then later, like what often happens in TV shows, someone who has appeared earlier in a minor part gets a larger part. It's happened on Doctor Who. It's happened on Star Trek. It's happened on plenty of shows. And so it's not exactly shocking. However, there are some fun theories about this simply because Fiona, we know her family has been in the area and knows about the lore of time travel because it's been passed down through generations. So it's easy to just come up with a little backstory. This is probably Fiona's great, 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 great grandmother. And of course, the family would have lived in the area, not necessarily in Inverness the entire time. So maybe they did uh, for a little while reside in a town near Leoc. Not out of the realm of possibility to build a little storyline there. However, as far as I can recall, and please, people who know the books back and forth <laughs> and every word in between, let me know if I'm wrong about this. But no, she doesn't appear as her own ancestor in the books. There is no discussion about uh, Fiona's Great, 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 great grandmother being at Castle Leoc at any of these events that would be familiar to Claire and Jamie. So while it is a fun coincidence that the same actress has appeared, obviously playing different parts, it's not necessarily built into the Outlander lore that she's her own uh, relative and definitely have not seen any moments where Fiona herself is a time traveler. But I do want to give mad props for Sharon for sharing this with us. Uh, she said her, her son had her phone, so she had trouble getting all of the images at first. But here we are. We can see plainly that the same actress is playing that part. However, if we look into Iona's um, credited parts, she only has season two, three, four, and seven. No mention of season one. So we can reasonably conclude it's a coincidence. And the actress was just so good that they wanted her back for a more regular part. And I do want to give the actress her props. Her name is Iona Claire. Fun coincidence. And so she is um, obviously very good at acting. We didn't even realize she was there twice until it was pointed out. Some people obviously did. There are a few articles, and I do have those in the sources below that discuss the coincidence and in depth decide that, uh, yeah, she's an extra who got cast for more later. And that is all I have for us today, guys. It is short, it is sweet, it is to the point, but hopefully it gave you a little something interesting to think about, watch later, and maybe even plan ahead for a gathering. Don't forget to check me out when I go live Friday and Saturday, probably later in the day on Friday, uh, hopefully early afternoon on Saturday. We'll see what happens and when things are interesting enough to film. If you want to check out a convention that is a mixture of many, many fandoms, and I really love, want to show off some of these vendors because the artists, they're amazing. They put together just the most incredible bits of art, whether it is paintings uh, or, or sculpting or just anything to show their love of the fandoms that they are very much into. So come check that out here in the next day or two. And if you are looking for more Outlander content, well, guess what? I have been making a few videos this week. So please feel free to check out any of those. And um, until next time, I'll see you there.